First, freedom. Revelation 3.20 is the key scripture that we found to indicate the Christian idea of freedom. It reads, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Freedom. If we are free to accept or reject the invitation of God, then it seems like we should have as much freedom as possible in our economic lives. Certainly not perfect freedom, because we have a fallen nature. But we certainly should be free to choose the number of hours we work each week. The California legislators have cited Microsoft's four-day work week in Japan as support for their idea. But notice, Microsoft had the freedom to enact that policy without being ordered by its government. In podcast number 113, titled People Should Be Free, I unpack more details about the intersection of Christianity and economics. It is freedom. The California legislature wants to control labor. That didn't work out well during slavery when the supply of labor was controlled, and it won't work out well trying to control demand of labor either. Control of labor always leads to dependence, and as this guy, Friedrich von Hayek, points out, it puts you on the road to serfdom. The California legislature is punishing success. The rule would apply only to companies with more than 500 employees. Here we go again. If you're providing enough consumer surplus to your fellow Californians, which causes you to employ 500 or more people, the California legislature is going to punish you. We don't have to imagine the creative waves companies will find to stay under the 500 mark, because we saw it when Obamacare applied to companies with over 50 employees. Companies purposely reduce the consumer surplus so they can limbo under the barrier. During a visit to Chichen Itza in Mexico, we learned that the prehistoric Mayans played a version of basketball where the objective was to throw a ball through a vertical ring on the wall. But here's the similarity with the California legislature. The captain of the winning Mayan team was rewarded by, wait for it, death. <laughs> Ginger astutely observed, they killed off their best performers. It's no wonder the culture died out. She just explained why companies are moving from California and New York to Texas and Florida.